For maximum efficiency when developing software, we should create our software in such a way that it's abstract and reusable. In this video, I'm going to show you how I can create a reusable group of functions using the JKI VI Package Manager. So on my computer screen here, I have four functions, just add, divide, multiply and subtract, and also an example function at the bottom. To make these into functions which I can put into my functions palettes, so when we right click the block diagram, and to make it so the divide example appears in the NI example finder, I'm going to show you how to use the JKI package manager. So once the JKI VI package manager has loaded, let's click on build a package. Once there, let's create new. In then the source directory, we want that to point towards where our source code is. Once there, we can give our new package a name. Let's call it maths functions. In then the company name, let's say Tom's Lab View Adventure. And then click fi uh, finish. So now we have a build specification of a VI package builder. In the build information, we have the source directory and the build output directory. Next, we have display information. So in display information, you can enter details about your uh, company, uh, homepage, web address, etc. And also change the product icon. You can right click edit icon, and then it will bring up um, the icon editor. For best practice, we should go to description and fill out a description of our new package. But let's head over to palettes. Now palettes is where you can actually choose how your functions are going to appear in the functions palette. Let's head over to functions palette at the bottom. If we click down, you can see all of our functions in that source folder have appeared. However, I don't want the example uh, VI to appear there. So I'm going to right click, delete and shift. So now we have add, divide, multiply and subtract. And that's all we have to do for that. The destinations, we can leave that all as default. And then source file settings, all of these by default will go into uh, the toolkit VIs. However, we want divide example to go elsewhere. So instead of using destination of parent folder, let's make this go into examples. Once that's all done, we can click on save. And, it's, and we're going to save this as a VIPB or VI package build specification. So let's save that. And now that it has been saved, let's build the package. Awesome. So now our package has been built, we're given the choice of saving it to our repository or opening up the build or just clicking OK. For best practice here, I would actually publish to my repository, but I don't have one set up on this PC but it's really easy to do so. So I'm just going to open in VIPM or VI Package Manager. And you can see we have mass functions. We can see it was by Tom's Lab View Adventure. And let's just click Install. Awesome, so now we can see it was installed with no errors. So let's click Finish. And we can close some of these down. So let's open up a new VI in LabVIEW and see what we have. If you head over to the block diagram, you can right click to open up the functions palette. You can see down here under maths functions, our new maths functions are here and we can use them like normal. Okay, so that's pretty great, but we also use something in the um, NI example finder. So let's head over to help and then find examples. 
And I find it's easier to go to a directory structure. You can scroll down to Tom's Labio Adventure under Maths Functions, and then we have a divide example. So if we just run continuously here, we can see the example works. The last thing I want to show you is where these functions are actually saved. So if you head over to your LabVIEW programs file uh, folder, then go to VILIB, and then Tom's LabVIEW Adventure in this case, Maths Functions, and you can see all of the functions uh, there. The example functions are actually in the example uh, folder in program files as well. Cool. If you have any questions or want me to go in more depth on, a, on anything, please leave a comment below. Make sure you to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers. Catch you later.